20 lines of code to create our trading bot because we have correctly implemented the previous function. And the other goal is that as it works for every exchange. Hi guys, and welcome in this new video. The goal of this video is to show you how to create a crypto trading bot from the data import to the live trading order execution. And you can find the link into the description to have access to this code. First of all, it's very important to understand that this code can be applied to a lot of different brokers because we will use the CCXT library and this library will allow us to connect ourselves to nearly all the crypto exchanges. For my side, I have chosen to use BitGet, but you can use the one you prefer, okay? So let me explain you the code very quickly because you will see that you don't have a lot of code to implement your trading strategy. So first of all, I need to import some libraries and I have also imported a file, the config file, because you need to import your API key to be able to talk with your exchange. And generally, I put it into another file to be sure I do not create any interferences. And so in this file, we only have the API initialization. So you have your API key, your secret key, your password, maybe if you use a broker that want to use a password too. You have some parameters that are not so important, except for this options parameter. Here, the default type is spot. That's because in this video, I will use the spot market. But if you want to use the futures market, you just need to use future there, okay? But you can take a look to the CCXT documentation to have more information. First of all, I will import some basic libraries. NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Datetime, CCXT, and my configuration. Then I need to create some functions and we'll not need a lot of functions. I need two functions to import the price, two to open and close my position, and one to have the available amount of the crypto I'm trading. So that's really not a lot. We have maybe 30 lines of code or 20. So that's very, very small. So this one will allow us to extract the last price of a specific symbol. For example, if I run that, I have the last price of the Bitcoin USDT. Here, I just need to put USDT, okay? For the get data, it's also very simple. A bit later in the video, we'll create a very simple trading strategy based on moving averages. So we need previous data. We need a bit of the historical data. So that's how we will extract them using this function. So it's pretty simple. We just need to use the date. So I will use from now minus a number of days. Okay, here I have chosen by default 30. I use the fetch OHLVC data function. I format a bit the data and now I can use it. So if I do get data BTC USDT one hour, for example, I will have the data from one month ago to today. And then here to buy or sell, we have also a very simple function. I do that very quickly because I want to explain you how to use them. It's much more important. So you put the symbol, the amount of this symbol. So for example, if you want to buy $100 of Bitcoin, you will put 0 0.00001 something, okay? And you need to put the API, which is the object we have imported from the config file. Here, something very important is that here on BitGet, this function need absolutely, because it depends on the API of each broker, the amount in USDT. But if you use Binance, for example, it will demand the amount using the cryptocurrency, okay? So maybe you will need to change a bit this function accordingly to the broker you are using. But it's very simple. Here I am into the worst case, which is this function need the amount in USDT. So you put the volume into the crypto you want to use. For example, I want 20 Dogecoin, for example. I will extract the price of this cryptocurrency and I will multiply it by the amount I want of this cryptocurrency and I will have the amount in USDT and I put it there. If you are using Binance, for example, you can remove these two first line and just put symbol amount right there and it should work. So you just need to adapt that according to your broker, but you can ask 
ChatGPT, or you can take a look to the CCXT documentation if you have any problem. Or of course, you can drop a comment into the comments area. For the sell market, it's the same thing, but this time it demands the volume of crypto you want to sell. So if you want to sell 20 Dogecoin, for example, you will put 20 there, okay? And here it's just to have the available amount of a cryptocurrency. You will see why in a few minutes it will help us a lot. So here, just take a look first about how much cryptocurrencies I have on my spot wallet for this example. I have 55 USDTs and I have nearly zero Dogecoin, okay? I will do this example on the Dogecoin for the reason that with the Bitcoin, we will have too much decimal, so it will be a bit complicated to analyze that. So if I use my buy market, I take Dodge USDT, I want to buy 20 Dodge USDT, and I will extract again my balance to be sure I have correctly bought them. Here, I can see that I have nearly 20, not 20. And that's a very, very important thing to understand. You will pay your fees over this amount. It means if you want to buy 20, you will receive 20 minus the fees, okay? You will not pay 20 plus the fees. So that's very important to understand. Like that, it seems nothing because you have paid 0 0.03 Deutsch, it's nothing. But it's very important to understand it because if I'm trying to sell right now 20, I will have an error because I don't have 20 Deutsch to sell. I have only 19.97 so i will have this error message and so i need to put for example this number there so 19.97 something okay and so it's not an option to do a copy paste each time because it's the goal of the trading bot to be able to work by itself and so how can we do that so it's pretty simple we can do that using our last function the get available amount for example here if I take the available amount over the Dodge, it's nearly nothing. But if I take this position, I will have nearly 20 Dodge, and then I extract the amount, I will be able to have this information. So that's very important. So now we have five very quick and simple functions. So that's all the things we need to create our trading bot. And here, as we can see, we have what? 20 lines of code to create or trading bot because we have correctly implemented the previous function. And the other goal is that as it works for every exchanges, depending of the exchange you are using, you will just have to modify a little bit the different function. And so all the code after that will work exactly in the same way. So that's very easy. First of all, the first thing to understand is that here, so when you are trying to create a trading bot that needs to trade the market, 24 hours over 24, seven day over seven, you will use a while true loop because it means that it will never end because we don't want to end our bot. If we want to stop it, we will go there and stop it manually. The first thing to do is to import the data of the asset we want to trade. And for this very simple trading strategy, I will use two moving averages, a fast moving average over two days and a slow moving average over 20 days. And the goal will be pretty simple. I want to be into the market when the fast moving average is above the slow moving average and I will close my position if it's the opposite because it means we will begin to enter into a downward trend. I extract the last value for my fast and slow SMAs and I will trade my condition to buy and to close my buy condition, so to sell. Here, it doesn't mean short the market, okay? But you can do exactly the same thing, shorting the market if you want to walk into the futures market. Here, we'll extract the available amount of the cryptocurrency we are trading, okay? And we need to verify that we are not already into the position. To be sure, we are not into the position. Here, we imagine we are just trading using this bot on this cryptocurrency. So we'll just verify the available amount. If the available amount is below 10% of the amount I want to invest of this symbol, okay, it means I can open a buy position. So if the condition buy is verified in the same time, I will open a buy position of the amount symbol. And here 
I have taken 10%, but 1% is clearly enough. The only thing I don't want to do is if the available amount is equal zero, because here, as you can see, even when I close all my position, we still have 0 0.0001 something. So it will never be equal to zero. So that's why I have put this small condition there, but you can put 1%, it's clearly enough because 1% is 0 0.2 Doge. And as we can see, it's clearly lower than that. So if these two conditions are verified, we just open our position and we are waiting that our fast SMA becomes lower than the current slow SMA. And if we have that, okay, which is the condition sell, and we have verified that the available amount is higher than 90% of the amount we want to invest on the market. So it means that we are into a trading position. Okay. We will close this position. And it's very important to do not close the position using the amount symbol, but the available amount as we have seen in the test section. And so if these two conditions are verified, we will just sell and just print that we are selling because here it's a very simple example. After that, you can if you want, send a message on Discord. You can send a message on Telegram. I will do a video about that also. You can do whatever you want. You can send you also directly a message on your mobile if you prefer. You can do a lot of things. And then I just do a small slip of one second to be sure we do not import too much time the same data here, okay? Because we walk into a one hour time frame. If we import the data, each second is clearly enough. And so here, if I run, let's see if we are taking a buy position or a sell position. And here, as we can see, we are taking a sell position. To verify that it's correctly implemented, you can add some print. For example, if I print fast SMA and slow SMA, here, this one is lower than this one. So we are into a bearish trend. So that's correct because before that we have sell our position because we have opened a position here. So if I open another one like that and I run that again, I have my two conditions there verified. The first one is the selling condition, which is this value lower than this one. And the second one is that we are already in position. So that's exactly what we wanted. And as we can see after that, it doesn't try to sell again or something like that. So it means that we have correctly implemented what we wanted to do. Now your job is to complexify that, send you a message, add some securities, improve the trading strategy you're using because here is a double moving averages trading strategy. So it's very simple. You can complexify it. So your work is to take this template and to make it yours. If you have any question, don't hesitate to drop it into the comments area or directly into the Discord forum. And see you soon in the next video.